Hello everybody, welcome back to another figure review of mine. My name is George Gonzalez Hayden and I am Figures of Action. Wow guys, it has been a while and I do apologize. Uh, seven months is way, seven months is way too long uh, to be stalling on making figure reviews. Although I have been collecting, but the reason why, and I know I, I shouldn't make excuses, is because I have a job now. And I've had a job for about a year now. And uh, it's just been getting really busy lately. But besides that, uh, I've always just been trying to want to make uh, figure reviews. And every time I try to do it, something else comes up. Or I'm calling to work and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting a really busy schedule. But besides that, uh, we're here for the action figure. And today's action figure is Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman. Now, you might be wondering, how on earth did I get this figure? It's not even released yet. Well, it's because my father took me to a place, um, an amazing, beautiful place, called Frankenson's Collectible Show. And when I went in there, it felt like I was walking into the Spider Society. <laughs> but for collectors and it was just amazing I had a wonderful time saw so many action figures even some that weren't even released yet just like Jessica drew right here and I decided you know I'm gonna get this figure and I got her for 30 bucks over there don't know if they have any more over there but I, I was just really lucky to see this figure over there and they had a whole bunch of other figures that weren't released yet and even ones that were really hard to find like I actually managed to pick up uh, the uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast Bumblebee there too and I will be trying to make a, a figure review of that as well but besides that let's get into this it was pretty hard to make her stand up here so I have something in the back to hold her up okay you know I don't lie to you guys but besides that look at this the packaging looks really great the figure looks really great I'm excited to look at this figure and you know nothing on the side and then here's a read up of Jessica Drew right there. If you want, you can pause the video and you can read it right here. I'll leave a description right here. And then nothing else on the sides. And I'm not going to waste any more time looking at the bottom of, of the boxes. Like with the other boxes besides this one. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here she is, Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, out of the packaging. This figure looks really good. So let's take a look at this figure. Oh, I got her in just in time. So let's see. Wow. Her head sculpt, I think, looks great. I really enjoy it. Looks really good. Oops, sorry. Okay, yeah. Very good. Her hair looks great too. You can see some of the lines right there for in the making of it. Even her ears are black. That's interesting. Does she have an ear on this side? Yes, she does. It's right there. I don't know if you can really see it. But yeah, her eyes look really good. Very nice. I like this design. The black and red. It suits her really well. Her symbol looks great. Pinless. I love that pinless elbows and pinless. Oh no. There's pins on the legs. But yeah, really muscular too. She looks good. And then here's her butt. Very nice. Okay. But yeah, she looks really good. I like the design. There's some uh, paint splotches right here. For the, the webbing on her suit. But it's not that bad. I like it. It's pretty simple too. Uh, it's not, not much is going on. But it's a simple design that I really like. It's good to look at. It's pleasing on the eyes. You know, some Anything is pretty nice. Different from the classic Spider-Man suit. Although we will always and forever love the classic Spider-Man suit. But yeah. This looks good. I like this a lot. Very nice. I would go over the accessories, but she only comes with two hands. So let me just show that right now. She comes with two open palm hands. Very nice. 
Yeah, very cool. Can't she fly? I'm not entirely sure. I think I remember that she has the ability to fly. Although that would... Uh, that wouldn't make sense for a spider person. So I don't think she can. I'll have to look into it. But yeah, very cool. Very nice. Okay, now let's move on to the articulation of the figure. Okay. Let's see. Okay, moving on to the articulation segment of the video. Okay, so she can put her arms out like this, this wide. Very nice. Let me focus in. There we go. Okay. Yeah, she could open her, her arms this wide. Kick sideways about like that. Nice. Very cool. She's got double jointed elbows. Let's just get that going. Okay, yeah, right there. Very. Why is this not focusing in? Very cool, very cool for both arms. Very nice, like she's ready to fight or something. Yeah, very cool. She's got hand joints, uh, hinges right here. Yeah, hinges, very cool. Let's see her head articulation. She could look, she could look down a good amount like if she's on a building or something she's looking down you get that nice comic pose uh, looking up since her hair really blocks her she can't really look up that much she can look about that much if you don't want to force it too much and then just straight forward she looks side to side yeah very nice a little head pivot and then she can, well, you can make her look up more like that. And that works. Yeah. She's got no ab crunch, sadly, but that's okay. She still looks really good. And then she could go to the side, swivel to the side. You know, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. That ball joint for the torso. I've always liked that. I always thought that was a good idea for it. If only they could do that and the ab crunch. That would be cool. And then, uh, you know, she can't make her uh, sides go down. She can't. But she's got the thigh swivel on both legs. Thigh swivel. Yeah. She kick up about that far. And she can, can't really kick back that much. Uh, that much before she just starts going outward a little bit. Her butt's in the way. And then uh, she's got double jointed knees. Get her in those dynamic poses. Really cool. Very cool. And then she's got the foot articulation, the hinge right here. Point down. Go up about that much. And she's got ankle pivot. Ankle pivot. Very nice. Good points of articulation. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let me just put her right here. It's hard to make her stand on here because my thing isn't really leveled. That was another thing too. I was trying to find a better studio setup. But uh, I can't find one at a good price. Well, yeah, I can't find one at an affordable price because all the really good ones are way too expensive. And I think I'll just stick with this for a, a little bit longer until I figure something out. And here we are at the conclusion of the figure review. I really enjoyed this figure. Uh, I really like how she looks. Her design looks great. I like how they made her look more, uh, I guess, buffed up. Like, she's got more muscle on her than most of the other female figures that we've had in the past. Because, especially in her legs and her thighs, they look really good. And her arms, as well, they look, mus like, muscular. 
And I really enjoy that. That really needs to be put out more within uh, the female figures. Because uh, they usually just make them just smooth and without any muscle. I like to see the the strength within the characters when I know that they're strong. That's like if you made a... Uh, not that they've made any bad uh, She-Hulk figures. Although I still need to do my review for the She-Hulk from the TV show. That was a terrible show, by the way. But besides that, um, it would be like if they made uh, a She-Hulk figure just all smooth without the muscle that would not be enjoyable for anybody so seeing this figure uh seeing what they've done with it i really liked it i really enjoy the new color scheme of it and um this is just this is jessica drew spider-man for sure when i see her it's just oh yep that's spider woman for sure yeah and uh I just really like this figure. I can't wait to display it with my other Spider-Man figures on uh, my Spider-Man display case. So she's going to make a great addition to that. And I'm going to give this figure a sub rating of... Awesome! And there you guys have it. That is my sub rating for the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Jessica Drew Spider-Woman action figure. I really enjoyed this figure. It was, it's really cool. And uh, just to be honest, just to be honest with you, you know, I like to share my honest opinion with you guys. This is my Jessica Drew. Because uh, just having Jessica Drew, when I watched the Across the Spider-Verse, I loved that movie. And I loved every character in it, including Jessica Drew. But just seeing how she was pregnant and riding around on a motorcycle, barely getting to see her, uh, you know, swing around like a normal uh, Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. Uh, it was just weird not being able to see her swing around like that. And I just thought it was ridiculous to have her pregnant. I don't know what angle they're trying to go for that. Of course, we know all mothers are superheroes. Of course they are. And we'll never doubt that. But just... I mean, seriously, having a pregnant woman go into danger and stuff, I mean, sh sh don't doctors tell you if you're pregnant, you should just, like, stay at home, even from work where, like, you'd be on, like, a desk or something? I don't know. I just thought it was ridiculous. I didn't really like that. And she was also mean to Miles, too. I didn't like that either. But, you know, that was for the, uh, the story. But... I just, this is Jessica Drew. This is Jessica Drew to me. If she wasn't pregnant, then I'd, I'd like her a lot more. But she was just, I don't know. They just threw her in there for something. I don't know. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this figure review as much as I did. Uh, as usual. Uh, also, just thank you for coming back to watch my figure reviews. I know it's been a long time. Uh, I will try to be making more reviews in the moments that I can. I've just got a really tight and busy schedule now. And uh, I will always be collecting figures. But I'm going to strive harder uh, to make the videos for you guys. And I have been trying to get figures to make more tutorials about. Because I know you guys really enjoy the tutorials. So I'll be looking out for that as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, anything down below. Subscribe if you haven't. So you get more videos like this and others such as tutorials and uh, toy hunts and whatnot. And I'm also going to be trying to do a lot more uh, uh, of those new release videos. As in, like, not the figures I have, but the figures that are going to be coming out, like the uh, the Knights wave. The Marvel Legends Knights wave. That's going to be really cool with the blade and all that. And uh, please ring the bell for notifications. And please follow me on my... Inst and share the video, actually, yeah. Please share the video with your friends and families and other uh, collectors around you. And... Please follow me on my Instagram account, which is Figures of Action. 
an American Summer on. And I would be saying follow me on my TikTok account, but unfortunately, I got locked out of my uh, action figure account on TikTok. I don't know why. I gotta look into that. And uh, besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. You guys are the best. I hope you have a wonderful evening or day, whatever time you're watching this at. And just keep collecting and just keep rocking out.